Welcome back to you, Yubumi guys. We got an update deck profile of my Black Wings. Let's get it started. Yeah, so now with the new Black Wing cards that came out in Soul Fusion, um, definitely going to make the deck a lot better. Um, getting a search route for Black Whirlwinds, always really good. Um, just to get to that card uh, faster is always good. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. As you can see, the first card already. <laughs> So we got three Black Wing Gale, the Whirlwind. Um, I think he's still one of the best Black Wing monsters. Uh, free special summoning, you're always gonna need it, especially in this link format, uh, just to get out your big synchro guys or to get your you know your link plays out. So three Black Gale with the Whirlwind, and then we'll play three Chris the Crack of Dawn. I still like playing him at three, um, just because he's a big attacker, and um, once per turn can be destroyed by battle or by or not not by battle but by spells and trap card effects so that's always good especially if you know they try to dark hole you or stuff like that um it, it can say it can survive once so they have to use another resource to get it um to get rid of it um and then when you have them out with black whirlwind you can search out basically any black wing monster um and then i played three bora the spear um i like playing three bora because like i said free special summons are always good and you need it in this link uh form so that's it for those and then for um, other cards, I still like playing three Kalutes. Uh, three Kalutes is always good. Just like I said, you have your big black wing monsters out, your synchros, or just to have your little guys out and they can still get over big monsters. So um, yeah, why not run Kalut? And then um, two Blizzard, um, even with, well now with the new synchro monster or the new synchro tuner, um, I still keep it at two just so it can go back and forth. Cause, it goes, Cause now it's really from the grave. Um, kind of hard to do that first turn um but you know now with the new uh the new tuner um you can get it from the banish zone so that's always good especially if uh, you use a lore you banish one of your black wing monsters and you can get it back with the new card and with that being said with the new cards i do like or i am playing three oster the south wind um like i said i think this card's really good going first because you could always allure um, your monster or when you use summon the poison wind um, when you banish the black wing monster for its effect to get the black whirlwind out um, you could always uh, get the monster back and then get a free link or not free link but get you know get a link monster out or get a synchro play going so that's why I like running three um, it's better going first I should say and then three summon the poison wind um, it's at three because you know it's like an extra copy of black whirlwind um, Getting Black Whirlwind out is just so good because it's just like I said, free, just free searches out. And then if your opponent doesn't want to get rid of it, or can't not can't get rid of it, but as in you know if it he doesn't take the time or they don't take the time to get rid of it, then it's just gonna be uh, advantage for you all the time. So that's why I like running those. And then for the other Black Wing monsters, um, I want Run Roshi, one Harmaton, one Panaki, one Gladius, and one Zephros. Um, Zephyros is in the grave, you know, you can always do the play, you know, bounce your black whirlwind back, summon them out, activate the black whirlwind again, if you're able to. Um, Gladius, just to get that extra summon out, Panaki can search any black wing monster, so, you know, if you have it set out there, or even after using it for a synchro, uh, summon, the end phase, you always get to add yourself a black wing monster. I like Harmington a lot because he can manipulate levels, so that way you can go into your big synchro monsters. Um, and also just to get that special summon now is always good. And then Oroshi is always good just to go from your level 7 to your level 8. Um, especially with uh, Clear Wing, or not Clear Wing, but Crystal Wing uh, Synchro Dragon. And um, yeah, so I like running those. And then for the one little card I still like running, even though it's like really old and uh, maybe a little outdated. But um, I do still like running one uh, Dark Arm Dragon. Um, just a big boss monster get out it's kind of sucks late game um you know because you know you probably have a lot of monsters in the grave um but now with the oster you know you know you don't have to worry so much about it being in the grave um so that way you can you know get it out so but yeah i still like running dark armed or dragon okay and then now for the spells so we're gonna run three black whirlwind of course it's the searcher of the deck um now you can search it out with simone the poison wind so that's always good um Always having this, if you can get two out, it's always great. Three if you want to be really, you know, if you want to gamble with it. But um, but yeah, I, Black Whirlwind is always good. That's why I used to be on the list. Um, so we're going three of those. And then three Allure of Darkness. Um, just draw draw from your deck. 
get the monsters you need, banish them, and said now with Oster the Oster the South Wind, you can always get those monsters back. So that's always good. Now they're not always gonna be gone forever. So always get them back. Um, and then just for the one ofs, just uh, one dark hole for board removal, one upstart, and one soul charge. Um, upstart just to dig into your deck. Even though you give your, your opponent a thousand life points, it's fine because you're, you know, the way I like to play this deck is to OTK your opponent, and um, nine thousand is nothing for black wings. And soul charge, if you're able to, just to get you know a big board out, or if not, you know, you know, just get your plays off. So soul charge is always a good card. Um, and for traps, um, before I think I had three torrential tributes in the last video, but I think now I cut it down to two. Um, torrential tribute is always good. I still like running it because a well time torrential tribute will always hurt your opponent, especially if they go with all the resources and you just flip it on them at the, at the current time or at the time and then they just can't go no more. Um, so I still like running torrential tribute. Um, I did have Vicarious in the deck before, but now, like I said, it's all link spammy, so you kind of want to. You know, just have your monsters out and then go into your big monsters. And for the last three cards, just a little solemn package. One warning, two strikes. Um, stop effects, stop summons. That's really it. Just, you know, have your opponent not do anything. Um, and then now into the extra deck. Uh, we're going to just one run exceeds. Um, with just one cast out, just um, in case there's a problematic monster. Um, I mean, not Austria is a level four, so you can always rank four. Um, I guess so. It's always good. Like I said, so just there just to get rid of um, monsters that are really annoying. Um, and then for synchros, one crystal wing, one trish. You could you could trish your opponent first turn if you really want to, or you know after you climb up with the black wings, you could always uh, summon a crystal wing, and crystal wings always good. Um, and then for the black wing synchros, we run two no thung. No thung is super good. Get the extra normal summon, you get the black wing, and now you get to use the effect twice. Um, so, like, of course, no thunder is going to be, uh, for me, it's going to be an obvious two. Um, and then for the sevens, I want one Armor Master, one Raikiri, one Shidori, and one Hawk Joe. Armor Master is kind of there just to summon, um, in case you don't want to summon these guys yet or him, I'm um, just kind of summon them out there, uh, just to, that way, like I said, just so you don't summon these out, you can summon these later. Um, so yeah, and he's, I mean, he can't be strong with battle, so that can always be annoying. And then for the new guy, the Black Wing Full Armor Master. Um, to have a boss monster like this, unaffected by card effects, is really good for Black Wings. Because uh, sometimes you, you know you can go into your big board and stuff like that, and then you just dark coal, or they just do something really easily to get rid of your monster, um, and that can be annoying because you sometimes you do use a lot of your resources just to make what you want to make. Um, so having a monster like this, I think it's really good for Black Wings. So I like that. Uh, that's it for the synchros, and then um, the last part is going to be five link monsters. So run two Wee Witch's Apprentice. Everything is dark in this deck. Why not run Wee Witch? And you get that extra boost. That's always good. And then we get the story, you always get to recur your monsters back. Um, one Firefighting Daruma Doll. Um, just kind of there just to, you know, give me spot removal for spells and traps. And if you're able to actually attack over a monster, um, you know, you just get resources back. So that's always good. Um, so that's it for the little guys, and then for big, big boss links, um, one Star Eagle, one Borlo. Star Eagle is kind of more for a turn one if you're able to, because you could just summon monsters um, just easily just from their effects, and just to refix your hand and maybe still keep going. Um, so Star Eagle is good in this deck, and then Borlo, just sometimes just to get into a big boss monster that um, you know that's still annoying to get around. So I always love Borlo. I think he's really good. Um, but yeah, but that's it for the deck profile, you guys. Just like and comment down below. Uh, just see what I could tweak, what maybe I didn't think about that I could add to the deck. Um, as I said, with the new monsters out, it just makes it so much easier to uh, play with this deck. And uh, yeah, just watch out for any new deck profiles. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching our videos and subscribing. Uh, make sure you check out our Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks. See you on the next one. Peace.